Hi everybody, my name is Victor with Line 6 and I'm hanging out down here at Sam Ash today to give you guys sort of an overview of our newest floor processor, our multi-effects and amp modeling uh, unit, the Helix. All right, so we're gonna break this down into three sections about Helix. We're gonna talk about real, smart, and control. The real side of it, we're gonna talk about how the amps and effects have been modeled much more accurately than anything we've had in the past to the point where things are starting to behave and feel realistic. If you're used to playing amps and used to feeling sag and you're used to using analog pedals and the way they interact with the amps, this will uh, be right at home for you guys. The smart side of things will break down how to set up tones and how easy using the interface is. And then lastly, we'll talk about the control aspect of Helix and how Helix can be integrated with you know, analog stomp boxes and vintage tube amps and you know, work as a control piece for whatever rig you have going on. All right, so when we get into talking about real, we're talking about how the amps and effects have been modeled you know, much more accurately whenever, than we've ever been able to pull off in the past. It's uh, the behavior between the two is just much more realistic. The end result for the player is that things are just much more dynamic and sensitive to how you're playing. So if I play soft, it'll respond softly. If I start to dig in, I can force that amp to break up. Same way in real life. Um, the same idea goes for when I start adding effects into that amp sound. So if I add an overdrive pedal, it's not only going to increase the gain and saturation I have on that amp, but it's also going to compress and change the way the amp feels. But even still with that amount of gain on it, I can roll back the volume and have things respond and clean up and sweeten up, right? So just much more realistic behavior. Um, another kind of favorite one of mine to show off is the Univibe model. And this kind of sums up the way we went about modeling things is um, in the real Univibe there's a light bulb in it and that's responsible for this kind of underlying throbbing sound that we're hearing. So instead of just trying to recapture that with a static filter kind of swaying back and forth or like a tremolo type effect, um, the guys at line six decided they would just digitally recreate this light bulb and let it behave the same way an actual light bulb does. The end result is we get this much more dynamic throbbing thing going on closer to the real Univibe sound. So generally higher gain sounds just come a lot easier to the whole world of modeling, right? The sounds are just more compressed naturally out of the box. So we're still able to pull off really, really nice high gain sounds, but there's just a level of detail here that just didn't exist before. So, uh... <laughs> There's a lot more detail in the notes, um, and again, amp and effect behavior here is a lot more prominent. So if you look at the way I have this overdrive pedal set up in front of the amp, I've got no gain on it, just the level boosted up. And when I do that, it's going to force the amp you know, to break up a little earlier. It's also going to force the amp into a little more natural compression and tighten up the bottom end. So there's a lot more level of realism there, even on the really, really high gain sounds. The, uh, generally, it's always been the lower gain sounds, the early breakup sounds that were never quite there with the whole digital modeling thing going on. And so a lot of that behavior was just a lot harder to capture. But as we see here, we can still have a, a clean sound that's got a, a level of breath and punch to it that we've never been able to capture. But I can take that same amp and give it a little bit of drive and force this thing to break up a little early. So. So again, it's just that, that sense of dynamics and just realism and, and, and how this thing is reacting to how hard I'm hitting it and kind of where all the, the parameters are set, right? Mm -hmm. 